Assalamu alaikum and welcome to live with Hassan Akhtar. Viewers, our today's lesson related to class 10th, unit number 1, exercise 1.3. Our statement of question is solve the following equations. Viewers, we will today discuss some different types of equations. Our today equation type is of the frame a x power 4 plus b x power 2 plus c is equal to 0. You can see that it is not our quadratic equation. But if we apply a few steps, it can be converted into quadratic equation. Now, what is the procedure? How we can convert it into quadratic equation? Step number 1 says that put x square is equal to y. Then on scaling both sides we will be obtaining x power 4 is equal to y square utilizing these two in the given frame we will be reaching our quadratic equation and you all know our quadratic equation can be solved by three different methods by factorization or by completing square method or by quadratic formula when it is in standard form you can use any one of the three methods to solve the given equation so moving to our first question number one statement is 2x power 4 minus 11x square plus 5 viewers you must be clear about the type it is the same type i just explained before you so we are given 2x power 4 minus 11x square plus 5 well clear it is not quadratic but when we put x square is equal to y and we take square on both sides in the next step we have x power 4 is equal to y square using equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1 what we get we have 2y square minus 11y plus 5 is equal to 0. Viewers, now it is in standard form of quadratic equation in variable y. We can apply any of the three methods for your easiness as you have studied all the three methods. So here factorization method is being applied. Just to give you a review, 2 multiplied by 5 makes it 10. Here is 5 plus, 2 is also plus but the middle sign is minus as you already know your two factors must contain the same sign that is the only option that you select 1 into 10 when you will multiply a minus 1 into minus 10 your answer will be plus 10 and when you are having minus 1 minus 10 your answer is minus 11 in other words we have broken this middle term as minus y minus 10y that was earlier minus 11y now taking common from the first two y is common we are left in the first place 2y and from here only one is left between sign remains same next rule you already know if the third term having sign minus next sign automatically goes change 5 is common among 10y and 5 so we are left inside the bracket 2y minus 1 this is the thing that we are going correct that both the brackets containing the same element now same is common 2y minus 1 taking common from this portion we are left from here y and from the second portion we are left with minus 5 so we have 2y minus 1 into y minus 5 is equal to 0 product of 2 is equal to 0 means either first is equal to 0 or second is equal to 0 that is either 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 or y minus 5 is equal to 0 2y is equal to 1 or in the next step y is equal to 1 over 2 whereas here in this case y becomes equal to 5 viewers make sure that question was given in variable x so our answer must be in variable x so we go back in equation number 2 and we say that when y is equal to 1 over 2 then from equation number 2 x square is equal to 1 over 2 our target is to calculate x so what to do we will simply take square root on both the sides taking square root on both the sides we can have square root of 1 by 2 and x will be equal to plus minus 1 over square root 2 because square root of 1 is 1 whereas number 2 cannot be taken out of symbol of square root likewise 
when y is equal to 5 then from equation number 2 x square is equal to 5 again taking square root on both sides our final result value of x becomes in this case plus minus square root 5 combining both the elements in the solution set my two elements of solution set are plus minus 1 over 2 comma plus minus square root 5 hope you understand moving to the next question that is question number 3 it says 5x power 1 by 2 is equal to 7x power 1 by 4 minus 2. As we are given 5x power 1 by 2 is equal to 7x power 1 by 4 minus 2. This is my equation number 1. What to do? Put the smaller one equal to y x power 1 over 4 is equal to y and now scaling both the sides in the next step. You already know that power and whole power they get multiply you will left 1 over 2 that is available inside the question as well so i have equation number 3 as x whole power 1 by 2 is equal to y squared using equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1 we have 5 y squared is equal to 7 y minus 2 in the next step shifting the terms of the right hand side towards the left we have 5y square minus 7y plus 2 is equal to 0 again the method is likely towards the first that is middle term having sign minus remaining other having sign positive so both the factors must have the same sign here 5 into 2 make 10 very simple minus 5 and minus 2 by adding will provide you minus 7 so 2 and 5 are my factors in this case writing them 5y square minus 5y minus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0 taking from first two common 5y is common we are left inside the bracket y minus 1 uh, third place minus 2 is common taking minus 2 common inside we are left y minus 1 now common in both is y minus 1 taking y minus 1 common from the first we are left 5y whereas from the second we are left minus 2 product of 2 is equal to 0 means either the first one is equal to 0 or the second one is equal to 0 that is either y minus 1 is equal to 0 or 5y minus 2 is equal to 0 it gives y is equal to 1 whereas 5y becomes equal to 2 and dividing by 5 both sides we have y is equal to 2 over 5. Going back to utilize equation number 2 when y is equal to 1 then from equation number 2 equation number 2 says that x power 1 over 4 is equal to y that mean x power 1 over 4 is equal to 1. Now here our target is to calculate only x here available power is 1 by 4 we can have only x if we can take exponent 4 on both the places by taking power 4 on both sides on the left hand side we get x because power and power will multiply and will go cancel 4 with 1 over 4 and towards right 1 power 4 will remain 1 so this is one value of x again when y is equal to 2 over 5 then again from number 2 that is x power 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 5 method is again same to calculate x take on the exponent place 4 on both the sides left hand side as well as right the side left hand side you will get only x whereas the right hand side 2 over 5 whole power 4 means 2 power 4 over 5 power 4 2 power 2 is uh, sorry 2 power 4 is viewers 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that gives you 16 whereas 5 power 4 mean multiply 4, 4 times number 5 that is 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 your answer will be 625 combining these inside the solution set brackets your result is 1 comma 16 over 625 as the elements of solution set as your answer going next in the next question number 5 the value is 3 x power minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8 x power minus 1 writing the same given equation as equation number 1 and substituting x power minus 1 is equal to y giving it equation number 2 now scaling both the sides we are reaching x power minus 2 is equal to y power 2 utilizing both equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1 we have 
थ्री वाई स्केयर प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू एट वाई शिफ्टिंग राइट एंड साइड टू वर्ड्स द लेफ्ट एंड साइड वी आर हैविंग थ्री वाई स्केयर माइनस एट वाई प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अगेन फैक्ट्राइजेशन इज द शॉर्टेस्ट मैथड to complete the solution 5 multiplied by 3 gives us 15 here we need minus 8 same 3 and 5 will be utilized with same sign minus that is minus 8y will be broken as minus 3y minus 5y plus 5 is equal to 0 taking common from the first two we have 3y into y minus 1 minus 5 is common in the next two again we are left inside the bracket y minus 1 now y minus 1 is common among the both inside the bracket we are left 3y minus 5 product of 2 is equal to 0 this means either the first one is equal to 0 or second one is equal to 0 that is y minus 1 is equal to 0 or 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 or 3y is equal to 5 here dividing both sides by 3 y is equal to 5 over 3 we obtained two values of y now again going back and utilizing equation number 2 to provide the answer in variable x when y is equal to 1 then from number 2 x whole power minus 1 is equal to 1 viewers x whole power minus 1 can be written as 1 over x right hand side no change now you are easy to calculate only x you can multiply x with 1 and your result will be x is equal to 1 option number 2 when y is equal to 5 over 3 then from number 2 x whole power minus 1 is equal to 5 over 3 just told you x power minus 1 is equal to 1 over x is equal to what 5 over 3 same make the cross multiplication 3 into 1 whereas 5 into x so we have 5x is equal to 3 here dividing both sides by 5 you can have x is equal to 3 over 5 combining both the values of x x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 over 5 in the solution set my elements of solution set are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3 over 5 hope you all understand you can provide your feedback thank you very much